okay so let's continue our discussion further on the divisibility tests and in this video I'm going to give the divisibility rules for the numbers 4 and numbers 8 so let us start our discussion by checking the divisibility test for the number 4 and in order to do that we first find out 2 3 and 4 digit multiples of 4 and why we do that will become clear to you very soon so these these are the two digit multiples that I have written these are the two digit multiples of 4 that is 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 and so on then I have taken three digit multiples starting from 104 08 112 16 20 24 and so on and then I have also taken a few four digit multiples that is 17 76 17 80 17 84 and so on now as we have done earlier we just try to see if we can make out anything which will let us under let us understand or let us figure out if these numbers are divisible by 4 so do we see any pattern here now if I have a look at the two digit multiples I really do not see any pattern here it's like 2602482644 okay so you, you you can see that in the ones place we have 0 six two four eight two six zero four and so on so so you 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 do see that there is a zero two four six eight present in the units place but then again that was a divisibility test for two and we do not really know whether this can be applied to four or not at this moment so there is nothing obvious that i can see for the two digit multiples that is this part at the moment so we'll come back to this later so at the moment we cannot figure out anything for the two digit multiples any pattern now let us have a look at the three three digit multiples so let, let do we see any pattern here so we have 04 8 12 112 16 120 24 28 32 36 so do you see any pattern emerging here now let me give you a hint a hint is that just try observing the last two digits of this three digit multiples that we have got so we have 4 then we have 8 then we have 12 here 16 20 24 28 32 does it give you any pattern so this is 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 so bingo that is the pattern that I can see here I can see that all these two digit multiples or the two digit numbers that I have here two digits the lower two digits in the three digit multiples right they are multiples of the number 4 4 8 12 16 okay so I can find out a rule for the three digit multiples how about four digit multiples let us try to see so 76 we try to see 80 84 88 and 92 now if you divide these by 4 you will find out that these are actually divisible by 4 I have just taken bigger numbers so as to give you an idea of numbers I mean bigger multiples of 4 in this case so the obvious pattern that we see in the 3 and 4 digit multiples is that the last two digits are multiples of 4 okay so that brings us to the divisibility rule for 4 a number with 3 or more digits is divisible by 4 if the number formed by the last two digits that is the number in the ones and the tens place is a multiple of 4 as we have seen here and now that would raise a question how do I check for the divisibility rule for one and two digit numbers so well that is obvious what we need to do is just to do the actual division so in this case that is where I have given you the two digit multiples right you will see that we have to perform actual division by 4 to just say whether this number is divided by 4 or not if the remainder from the division is 0 then that two digit number will be divisible by 4 that is what we have to find out so that was our discussion for 4 divisibility test for 4 now let's try to understand the divisibility by 8 and we again follow the same method we find out the 2 3 and 4 digit multiples of 8 so here are the two digit multiples of 8 that is 16 24 32 40 and so on 
then we have three digit multiples 104 12 20 and so on and then we have some four digit multiples 16 or 8 16 16 and so on now do you see anything common in this multiples of 8 so if you just have a close look here 16 24 32 40 48 56 you cannot see anything any pattern emerging here and in order for you to understand that this is divisible by 8 or not you have to actually divide them so we don't see any pattern here in the two digit multiples how about the three digit multiples do we see any patterns emerging here like the last two digits okay so it doesn't seem to be showing any pattern over here right seem to be showing any pattern okay we do see a pattern that 4 12 20 28 36 44 and 152 they are multiples of 4 but then that is it does that let me know whether this is a multiple uh, divisible uh, by 8 or not no so we do not see any pattern over here as well now we have a close look at the four digit multiples and one exercise worth for us to do is that this you have a look at the last three digits that is 608 616 624 632 640 and so on now if you try to divide these numbers 608 66 616 which, which are formed by the last three digits then you will find that they are multiples of 8 see but in this case right 4 is not a multiple of 8 12 is not a multiple of 8 20 is not a multiple of 8 28 is not a multiple of 8 though it is a multiple of 4 so in the three digit multiples we cannot apply any rule but in four digit multiples definitely we do see a pattern emerging in fact it will be good for you to try it out with some more multiples of 8 right so this brings us to the divisibility rule for 8 a number with four or more digits is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8 and what do we do for one two and three digit numbers so if we have one two or three digit numbers and we want to check for the divisibility by 8 we must do actual division and see that the remainder is 0 in order for that number to be divisible by 8 so that was our discussion on divisibility tests for number 4 and 8 and just to reiterate revise in order for us to check the divisibility for number 4 we apply that divisibility test to 3 and more digit numbers and we see that the last two digits in a 3 digit number is a multiple of 4 then we say that number is divisible by 4 and we have a similar divisibility rule for 8 the only thing is that that divisibility test applies for number with 4 or more digits and we check the last 3 digits if they are divisible by 8 then we say that the number is divisible by 8 as well so see you soon in the next session where we continue our discussion on divisibility tests